gang, back with another banger. We're going to have a big video today. There's actually going to be two stocks that I want to go all in pretty heavy on. I'm going to let you guys know what stocks those are. First, we got to go over FaZe. FaZe had a crazy drop down, broke through that buying level that I gave you guys. That's why these levels are very key, but if something doesn't show buying pressure, that tells me not to buy that specific thing. The next one we're going to go over is NEO. NEO had a good push today. I'm about to hit a good buying level that we could potentially see some upside. But if that buying level does not show, I will actually trade it to the downside. And then another we're going to go over is BNGO. Big push up today. Today had a bigger push than yesterday did. And I'm going to show you guys a short squeeze list because it's actually been moving up. It's been having a lot of upvotes. It's been pushed up in the rankings to the number six on top Reddit. So it could lead to some more push on this one. We'll go over that. And then we'll go over the two big ones that I want to be playing for tomorrow. So make sure you stay tuned. Um, smash the like button. Subscribe if you're new. Let's get the channel over 100K subscribers by the end of the year. That is the goal. So let's go over phase real quick. F-A-Z-E. F-A-Z-E. Let's go ahead and take that off. Now, we had a buying level at about $16. This is why I love watching these levels. It was actually a pretty big buying level too. So as price came down today, okay, Notice how it hit that level perfectly, right at that $60 level, and it started to push up, right? Started to have that push up. Now, as I teach you guys in the uh, Discord room, make sure you join. First link in that description is the only Discord room I'm part of. As I teach you guys, there's something that you look for after buying pressure has occurred. That did not happen. It actually broke through the buying level and actually went down, okay? So very specific is something you look for after that buying pressure is hit on how to play it okay so let's go ahead and take that off so now for phase there's only one thing we can really do for phase and that's put a support level support level let me get the line real quick so support level is the only real thing we can do and support is at about twelve dollars and twenty cents about $12.20. So in that area is the only support that I see right now on phase. I don't see any clear buying levels. So this is your update for phase. I know how a lot of people ask me with this big pull down today. Watch that 12.20 tomorrow. If anything changes, I will update you guys tomorrow after the market is open. Okay. Next one we're going to go over is NEO. And then make sure you stay tuned for after um, the third one because I'll be giving you guys two big plays I'll be looking out for tomorrow. Going heavy on them. And they should be some good plays. Okay. Of course, I could be wrong. Not, from that, not financial advice. Just give me those levels I'm looking at, how I'm looking to play stuff. So make sure you do your own due diligence. Now, next one is NEO. But first, look at This is three more plays. We exited some of them today. We sold some spy calls for a 20% game. Still have a little bit of those. Target was hit already, though, but still trying to hold a little bit more for some push. But that was another 20% gain. We sold some AMD call options. Another 15% gain. Hold a little more of those. We had sold some more spy calls for a 45% gain. So just in those plays, that's like over what, 80% gain just off those. And you got, you already know we did uh, Disney for 137% gain. So over 200% gain today in sales. Make sure you guys join the team, willknowledge.com. It's that first link in the description. You get private live streams every day the market's open. You get my buys and sales like I just showed you. Learn how I trade, bonus YouTube videos, and key levels on any stock. Make sure you join the team. First link in that description. Now, Neo. Neo, Neo, Neo. We had a couple levels I was looking out for. We had a resistance level at about $22. You tell me where did resistance come in today? Almost hit it perfectly twice. $22 for resistance. It had a heavy pull down. This is exactly why I like watching these levels. Okay, so since that resistance level was hit, I'm actually going to move it up a little bit to about 24 So I'm going to put the next resistance level to about 24 We need to be watching out for that just in case. Neo gets that push and it's down after hours to about $20.77. My buying level is going to be at $20.50. Okay, so kind of where price is now. We should know. And now, like I said, something very key. You want to pay attention. If this buying level, okay, does not show buying pressure here, that is actually going to be a sign that Neo might want to pull down lower to the teens. Okay, 17, 16, 18 in that area. And I will actually load up on Neo puts. Okay, so Neo's a big play too. If it shows pressure in this area, I'll actually trade it to the upside. 
So that means I'll be looking for about a 16 to a 36% gain on the upside because I have an exit at 28 and I have an exit at 24. But if it does not show buying pressure, I will actually trade it heavy on put options on the downside. Okay, very big play on Neo. Make sure you watch that. Repeat the video, slow it down, write it down in your notebook, do everything you got to do. Okay, because this will be a pretty big play on Neo. I will let you guys know more on that. Like the Pacific option we're going to do um, in the Discord room. Just make sure you join. First link in that description. Now, next one is BNGO. BNGO. Do not worry. I looked at the other stocks. I looked at BBY. I looked at AMC, GameStop, Excella, Mullen. I looked at all of them before I made the video. They have either no new levels or the levels that I already gave you guys, they're still relevant. Okay. So make sure you go watch the video before this one where it has Excella, AMC, BBY, Sundell. These are still the levels I'll be looking out for for tomorrow. Okay, still the same level. So if you want to see these stocks, make sure you go check it out. It's a video right before this one. Okay, and now let me show you BNGO right here. It's number six. It used to be, what was that? So it moved up to number six. It moved up to 70. I don't feel like doing math right now, but it moved up 70 points. BNGO, 835 votes. And don't worry. That's why I said I checked Bath & Beyond. It still had 35,000 votes. But look at the change. This is what you need to be looking at right here. The 24-hour change is 407%. Also, look at Rivian because this was a huge change on Rivian. Rivian doesn't have anything clear right now. The only thing that was actually clear was BNGO. And you already know we played Disney for over 137% gain already. So we got Disney already. Looking at BNGO, okay, it's number six right now, moved up 70 spots. So with that being said, BNGO, we need a little pullback in here, okay? It is at very high prices resistance isn't clear i'll just put like an exit at about 370 just to be on the safe side we don't need a huge run to actually get in profits 370 and then right after this we're going to go over the two massive plays looking forward for tomorrow and then for my buying levels right around three dollars and 28 cents i'm gonna bring my buying level it might not want to go that low though but for now i'm gonna put it at about two dollars and eighty cents for now that might change tomorrow depending on how it moves but i also told my group they can really chill right we don't need to look to over trade we can pretty much chill now we exited for over 200 percent today so now we're in chill mode possibly looking for more plays if anything presents itself but just remember when you make profits try not to get those profits back take your time don't trade till the next week even if it's like thursday friday usually don't take too many trades so just be mindful of that when you make good profits, make sure you have those profits last, okay? So BNGO, new levels, 280 to about 370. Now let's go ahead and get in a big place, okay? It's SPY. Now you already know, we already have um, we already have a little bit of SPY calls left, okay? We already exit, I think for like 40 something percent gain on SPY already, looking to double down on those, okay? Now, this level is very specific. If this level does not hit, then I probably will not get those big call options on SPY. I already have call options on SPY, but like I said, I want to double down on those. So resistance level acted as support, SPY, you can see right here. What is all this? Let me take all this off. It's kind of bothering me right there. Make sure you guys don't forget, smash the like button and subscribe if you are new. Now, old resistance acted as support, right? So my new exit level is going to be up here to about 432. Let me put that on here. That'll be my new um, exit target for the um, calls that I'm looking for now. And also, since it's a pretty heavy position, it does not need to hit my level exactly, uh, matter of fact. It does not need to hit it exactly. I'm looking right around, I wanna say about 4.1850. 4.1850, let me, four, uh, 4.1850 is a buying level I'm looking for a SPY. Looking to load the boat. On spy calls that's why i put all this at the end for the people that stayed this long this is the big portions of the video also neil's a big play but these are the big portions so 418 so right now after market it is up a little bit okay it might not pull down to these 418s 417 416 levels to team levels it might not pull down it might just go up continuously tomorrow if it does i'll most likely enter on an intraday type of play and trade it still heavy because i already said i already have some i'm looking to double those okay so main levels, I'm kind of looking out for SPY. Make sure you watch it. Pretty big play, all in play. Um, again, not a recommendation. You will lose money if you follow any of my trades. This is just something I'm looking at, levels I'm looking at, showing you guys how I'm looking to play stuff, okay? So next one is QQQ. 
another big position. Okay, another big one. QQQ. Now, I might even go a little heavier on QQQ. Okay, you didn't hear that from me though. Resistance level, test as resistance, test as support today, up a little bit after hours. I'm gonna take this one up. I want to take it up to about 335. So resistance is gonna move up, especially after all the good news that we had. Now, inflation is still high, 8.5% for core PI. It's still high, but it's better than what we was expecting. And then PPI came out better as what we were expecting. Now, 335. Okay. Buying level. Let me turn, what is it? Let me turn it green. Literally where price is kind of like right around like 323, 323. And the thing about QQQ, it can actually break this buying level tomorrow. And I was still want to buy it it could actually break this buying level tomorrow and i would still want to buy it that's why i say just make sure you join the team willknowledge.com first thing in that description we have a chat room we talk in the markets every day and also we have private live streams we private live stream every day the market is open okay you see me find my plays we do plays on the live stream all that okay so make sure you join the team get all that key information so 323 is my buying level right now this might break tomorrow it might pull down a little bit lower but like i said even if that breaks i'm still looking to get them this is just the level I see right now, but the level can change tomorrow depending on what the market does. But looking to take that up all the way to 335, big play on QQQ. So thank you guys for watching the video. Always remember, no recommendation to buy or sell anything, just for educational purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in the video. I'll catch you guys in that next one.